Hello friends, welcome to the channel. In the previous video, we had worked with the Nginx server over the Linux instance of EC2. But this time, we are going to install Nginx server over the Ubuntu instance of AWS. By Ubuntu instance, we mean the instance running with the Ubuntu AMI. So let's start. Firstly, we need to launch an EC2 instance. and give it a name select the AMI as Ubuntu this time next instance type t2.micro and next we need to select the key pair if you want to connect to your instance otherwise we can skip this step Next thing, auto assign public IP should be enabled. Next is security group. Either you can select the existing group as my earlier group was also having the same setting for SSH and HTTP traffic or you can create a new group by selecting the first option. Here the new group will be created with the name launch wizard 13 with the allowed SSH traffic, inbound traffic and we can also allow the HTTP traffic as we want to run some static application and also we want to uh, launch that application over the public IP. So we need to check these options as well. And next is advanced details. Last time we used the commands after the launch of EC2 instance for the installation of Nginx server and for the upload of application. But this time we are going to use a different approach where we are using the bash script in the user data section of advanced detail for this just scroll down to the bottom and here the last section is user data where you can paste your script and here I am pasting my script let's have a closer look for this we have winbash and unlike yum for ubuntu we are going to use apt-get so this is equivalent to yum for the linux instance and this time we are writing apt-get update apt-get install nginx-y. These commands are similar to Linux server like yum update-y yum install nginx as we run with the previous server. And this time you also have the same option either you can go with system ctl start nginx or you can also write service nginx start. So let's go with service nginx start. Next is system CTL enable nginx. After the start of service you need to enable it and for the HTML application we are going to use this command where our static page will be stored in slash var slash www slash html index dot html and this script will run with the launch of the instance. So let's quickly launch your instance. Select your instance. And now your instance is running. So let's select your instance and to check the status of Nginx application. Either you can go with the connect option or you can also use the public IP. So let's try both ways. Firstly we are going to connect with our instance. And here this is the interface of Ubuntu server. Check the status of your Nginx server. Let's quickly write the command sudo systemctl nginx.service Here is the status of your service the service is active and running and also the service is enabled because we had set the service to be enabled. So now the service is running and also the status is enabled. So let's try the other way where we were using the public IP of your EC2 instance. This time select the instance, the public IP, paste it to new tab.
So here our page is running means our static application is running. That's it for this video. Hope you have learned something. See you in the next video. Till then bye and take care.